What's going on everyone? John here with another video. This is part two of my 2022 rod and reel setups. Um, this one is about my spinning rods. As you see in the last video, it was about my bait casters. So like I said, um, I didn't want to drag out these uh, videos too long. So yeah, stick around and let's uh, check out some sweet combos. All right, so the first uh, rod and reel combo that I have right here is the uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass, the uh, plastics rod, all right? See, it says plastics right on it. The uh, spinning rod version, obviously. And this is the Stratic, um, Shimano Stratic FL, the 2500 HG with uh, Vermilion Red uh, 15 pound power pro. This one's a seven foot one, medium fast action. See right here. And it's got a soft tip, right? Nice soft tip. Um, this is kind of like uh, my general purpose plastics rod. And uh, so what I mean like general purpose, right? Um, I'll throw weightless tubes. I'll throw um, like weightless uh, crawfish baits kind of like a jackal cover craw um in a three inch or really like texas rigged um crawfish baits like the young uh, 2.7 inch uh i think it's the craw poppy there's a 2.75 inch with like a 16th ounce weight so certain things like that i'll use this rod right light baits that i can't exactly use a uh, my light bait caster for this is you know it's not it's not a, a a heavy combo but it's not it's not the lightest but uh, it's extremely the reel's extremely smooth right um the reel i think is like 7.2 ounces and the rod weighs i think it's uh 3.9 or 4 ounces all right so so it's an 11 and a quarter ounce uh combo right and uh you know i might even get away with some uh small uh poppers with this as well right but I have my top water rod for that unless it's something really small. So my next setup is um, something you've probably seen if you've seen my last um, review or first impression video, which is the uh, Mega Bass Orochi XX uh, Whip Snake with the uh, Shimano Vanford, the uh, 3000 HG. Right, I got, uh, I believe this is 8 pound Power Pro on it. Right, you can see. All right, the whip snake. It's a 611, right? Um, medium light. Um, I think it's like borderline medium light, medium, right? Um, I'll I'll link the um, video for this rod um, in the description and as well on an end card, right? And uh, you know the rod weighs 4.1 ounces and the reel weighs 6.3, so it's so it's a 10.4 ounce combo, extremely balanced, as you can tell, right? And, um, you know, quick rundown. I'm going to be using this for uh, shake, uh, very light shaky heads, um, 8th ounce, 16th ounce, um, even smaller uh, Neko rig, like 3 inch baits, right? Very lightweight, 332 ounce, um, and uh, 16th ounce, and even lighter. Right, and this is why I love this rod. Even though it's classified as an extra fast, it's more of a fast, right? You know, and, and it's got the backbone that it, it it will allow you to run the shaky heads, but when you run shaky heads that light, you do have a finer wire hook with them. And um, I have experience with the uh, Levante Whip Snake, so I know how, for the most part, how they handle. Granted, you know, I still have to test this out, to see how this one handles, like what kind of characteristics are different from the Levante. But uh, overall, I mean, they're almost identical, right? Granted the guides, the design and, and the build quality of this, um, to be honest, is better than the Levante. So my next combo right here is entering um, ultra high end territory. Um, this is the, uh, IMX Pro 882S NRR, which that's the uh, Nedrig rod. It's a seven foot four, uh, medium extra fast, 
and I got it on <laughs> on a Shimano Stella 2500 FE which this is the uh, JDM version right and uh, that's a 2010 model bought it brand new right and um, it was actually a lucky find that I got this reel and I've always wanted it and I did do a little uh, upgrade on it I did a, a carbon fiber drag upgrade and um, so it's it's the difference between the the JDM and the USDM uh, Stella FE is the gear ratio this one's a 5.2 the other one I believe was a 6.0 right and this is as you could tell right the fast tip so I have seven pound um, Daiwa fluorocarbon on it um, and so the reason why I have this particular setup the seven foot four is because a bombing the cast far and B the 5.2 allows you to um, reel it very slow kind of like drag it extremely slow and also another thing is I'm running complete fluorocarbon seven pound because I also want to use it for um, spy baits but because of the bombing of the cast you have some good backbone with this rod and um, this actually replaced my St. Croix Legend Tournament uh, finesse drop shot rod as I planned to use that for Ned Riggs but it was a little too light right and I had the Vanford on it and even with the Vanford, it still kind of felt um, kind of clunky, right? So that's why I upgraded to this. And also the, the, the Legend Tournament was um, somewhat too light of an action. It was a 610 medium light, All right? So yeah, this was the upgrade for that, All right? $480 rod, right, compared to the three... 360 from the legend tournament and they almost weigh the same right the rod and the uh, the G Loomis and the st. Croix so here's uh, one of my favorite combos right here this is my uh, <laughs> G Loomis GLX 852s JWR um, JWR is like I said in my last videos the um, jig and worm rod and I have a uh, Shimano Twin Power 3000, C3000XG with 15-pound um, uh, Moss Green Power Pro on it. And um, this is my Wacky Rig Rod. So the reason why I like this combo so much is the versatility, right? And the fact that it's light and balanced, okay? And it allows me to fish the Wacky Rig properly. It is a 7.1 uh, medium extra fast. To show you the tip of it all right true extra fast so it allows me to fish the wacky rig efficiently and I could really load up on these fish if need be I could just crank down the uh, drag and and pull them in but um, yeah smooth drag right the the reel is is a powerhouse this is probably the closest thing to the Stella the uh, FJ and uh, you, it's a sensitive rod. You could use it for drop shotting. You could use it for Ned rigging. Um, you could use it for pretty much anything, Neko rigging especially, right? But you know, weightless, wacky. You know, you can't can't beat it. Also, the cork. It's got a really nice cork handle, right? All of these G Loomis rods and Mega Bass rods. I've treated it with cork sealer. So up next, right here, is possibly one of my bread and butter combos. Um, so this is the uh, G Loomis NRX, the uh, 822S DSR, right? 610 medium, mag medium, extra fast, right? And I got the uh, Shimano Vanquish, it's also a JDM reel. The uh, C3000XG, so this rod weighs 3.28 ounces. The reel weighs six ounces flat. So that's a 9.28 com uh, ounce combo. It's my drop shot combo. That's all I use this for. 
empty spool. I plan on, I'm still, I'm still debating if I'm going to put a light braid, like an eight pound braid to a six or five pound fluorocarbon, or if I'm just going to run straight five pound fluorocarbon. Um, I've heard people complaining about these rods that they don't have much power if you Texas rig your baits, but um, I've only lost maybe two or three fish on a Texas rig with this rod. And one of them was a monster, but um, the thing is, is that I, when I was using a Texas rig with those baits, I was using the VMC um, spin shots, which being an EWG on a drop shot, you don't exactly get the best hookup, right? Because of how the hook is, but I digress. Um, you know, my this is my bread and butter drop shot rod extremely light you got the uh, titanium fuji guides on it and the recoils right here even though it's extra fast you still got somewhat of a soft tip and then some backbone right but you don't want too much backbone if you're running um five pound liter you'll be snapping off every time right i think this is probably one of the best drop shot combos out there if not the best I haven't used the NRX Plus. This is the last gen, right? And, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I have a review on this rod too. If you haven't seen it already. And I'll link that uh, review on the description as well. So, last but most definitely not least. <laughs> this is my, uh, last combo. My, uh. Highest end combo next to my uh, NRX Plus Antares Baitcaster. And this is my Gilumis NRX 802S JWR 68 Extra Fast Medium Power on a Stella FJ 2500. Right? And uh, it's the HG. And this is my uh, Neko rigging combo. This is strictly Neko. Um, if need be, I'll uh, switch her up to um, a wacky rig if I need, by chance, the shorter rod, right? It, it, it has not happened yet. But if I'm around trees, right, I'll, uh, I'll switch her up to this combo. I have 8-pound Berkley X4 on it, the braid, right? And... This is a phenomenal combo, extremely sensitive, extremely light, despite the reel being 7.4 ounces. This rod weighs, uh, I believe it's uh, 3.4, 3.5 ounces, right? And it's got an extremely fast tip, right? It's got an extremely fast tip, as you can see here, and uh, some, so, so, some decent backbone. Right, it's got it's got good backbone on it. It's rated six to twelve, and uh, I fish a lot of six-inch um, finesse worms, and I'll be using it also neckle rigging the it's the Robo Worm, the four-inch Ned Worms, and this rod has been sealed with uh, U forty cork sealer, like I said before, um, my Mega Bass rods and my Gilumis rods have all been treated Just makes cleanup easier and gives you some protection of such an ex expensive investment When you have when you spend almost two thousand dollars on a combo you want to you want to protect it as much as possible and All of my bottom contact rods are all Gilumis any sort of bottom contact drop shot um, jig and worm rod bait casting jig and worm rod um, they're all G Loomis my motto is when you go bottom contact spend the most that you could possibly spend within your budget now I know it kind of contradicts my metanium on my Mega Bass X um, my Mega Bass P5 the blade rod which is a spinner bait chatter bait rod but it's also a very light rod that you're bombing baits far most of the time or you're or you're skipping you're targeting somewhere with with the bait so so you want 
you want something light and balanced too, right? But this is an extremely um, smooth reel, great drag, light line. I mean, you can play fish is buttery smooth. Like words cannot describe how smooth this reel is, the drag, uh, how the comp uh, how the combo complements each other, right? Great combo. Um, I got it later in the year last year, so I still have a little bit of experience to to do with this. I need a little more experience, but I will do a review video for these, right? 